Welcome back to Gabriel's Way to Play, Gabriel Longdens. And now we're on to Mario Party 9's top 10 best and worst games. So yeah, this is where this is where everyone's like, oh Mario Party's really bad and it went downhill. And eh, I, don't, I don't really think it went that far downhill. It's like the mini games in Mario Party 9 are um, some of them are really fun. And some are okay, and then some are bad, of course. But it's not that bad of a Mario Party. Like, it's not as bad as Island Tour. Like, oh my. Island Tour is really rough, in my opinion. Anyway, with that all out of the way, let's go on to the best side, because that's what we always do, and then we go to the worst side. So, the number 10 best is... Alright, the number 10 best is... Upward Mobility. So this one's a fine enough mini game and all, I guess. And it made my top ten. The only problem is I was starting to run out of ideas for the... for these first couple, so... because I was starting to run, run out of favorites. So I just want like, yeah, this one this one's a fun minigame, I guess. And it is a decently fun minigame, I guess. It's like a obstacle obstacle course one, I guess, except you only go up and you bounce up too. So yeah, not much else I have to say about this minigame. And on to number nine, which it is. Alright, moving on to number nine is launch break. <laughs> And before we get started talking about the minigame, the name is kind of funny. Because if you instead say lunch instead of launch, then it's called la lunch break, which sounds funny. Which is probably why they went with launch break. So yeah, this is a mashing minigame, and of course those minigames are fun. I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna turn this up in a second, so we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. That should be better. Who's at 10 pounds? Anyway, yeah, this is a fine mashing minigame, I guess. It's okay. And yeah, that's why it's on the list. Because it's good. And I like it. Ish. Okay, well, I like it, I guess. It's a fine minigame and all, but. Yeah. I don't have much else to say about this one. And on the number 8 best, which is. Alright, number eight is Goomba Bowling. <laughs> that's funny. They made a bowling minigame in Mario Party. Which is a cool idea and concept. Where basically, you're just trying to get the most amount of Goombas you can. And... And it's so sad, um, satisfying when you get that perfect, like, strike with 20. As you can tell, I am not Koopa Trooper, because I would not do that bad. As you can tell, that's a computer. Not only that, an easy computer. And Wario did the exact same Another fun. But, to be honest, there's nothing much else I have to say about this minigame. So let's move on to number 7, which is... Alright, number 7 is Twist Ending. Uh, and I can already tell my brother's gonna be like, What? How's this on the list? This one's a terrible movie. Well, let me explain. It's an interesting concept of where you have to rotate your Wii remote and get it to stop on the little red bar. That's all you have to do is tilt it. And then when you get a big cool diamond, either a blue, a red, a green, or a yellow diamond. And first gets the biggest diamond, second gets the medium sized diamond, and then third third gets a small diamond, and then fourth would get a really tiny one if they're able to open up their chest. So yeah, not much else I have to say about this minigame. It's an interesting concept and an interesting minigame in my opinion. Not my brother's, but in my opinion it is. Anyway, moving on to number six. Which is 
Alright, number six is Pizza Me Mario. So this minigame's a um, fun con concept of a minigame. Basically, you either throw pepperoni down, mushrooms, cheese, or lettuce in it. So, not, a, not only is it a fun minigame, the pizza does look pretty good at the end. Well, ish. Except I don't eat cheese pizza. I uh, have pizza with pepperoni or mushrooms or whatever it is. Uh, um, lettuce, I guess we could say. But yeah, it's a um, pretty fun minigame where you put on the toppings of a pizza. Yeah. There's nothing much else I have to say about this minigame. It's a good food related minigame. And also the pizza looks really good. Anyway, moving on to number to the top five now. And these are the minigames that I really like. Well, this one was really good too, but these are the ones that are really awesome in my opinion. Anyway, moving on to number five, which is Number five is Mecha Choice. So yes, this is a luck minigame. But here's the thing, it's a good luck minigame. Because you don't know if you're gonna win or not. It's a fun minigame. Funny enough, um... I don't know what was I gonna say. Funny enough, we have this... Or... We don't have the whole minigame, but we have some of... We have a shortened down version of this minigame. Well, we used to have it in Minecraft. We, like, built this on Minecraft, which is kind of funny. However, that world got, like, corrupted and whatever, so we can't really see that anymore. So, yeah, that, that's pretty funny. But, yeah, this is a, a good luck minigame, which is surprising, because most luck minigames are pretty bad. Anyway, nothing much else I have to say about this minigame. Moving on to number four, which is... Alright, number four is bump, Bumper bull, Bubbles. This is a fun minigame where you just... Basically, you hold in the two button, and you use motion controls to um, turn yourself. At first, when we first started playing this minigame, I would have probably not really liked it that much. But it's a fun minigame where you're basically in a bubble and trying to get as many blues as you can. Like this, I would take this one over the top 100 remake. Because I would rather take motion controls over um, turning the whole screen. And that really stank there because I lost a whole bunch of blues. But yeah, this is a funny, goofy minigame where you basically just collect a bunch of blues. Wow, I just pushed the button into the blues. Yeah, and that's basically all you have to do. Whoops. That's basically all you have to do in this minigame. You collect as many balloons as you can. And as you can see, I did terrible. I only was able to beat Cooper Trooper. That was it. And Wario won again. Congratulations, Wario won. I guess. That doesn't really matter. Anyway, top top three now. These are the really great minigames, starting with number three being... Alright, number three is Ten to Win. This is like a kind of like a weird version of a game show, I guess you could say. So basically all you're doing is getting ten points, of course. And of course you don't know which card is what because they spin around really fast. And... Yeah, this is just a fun minigame of trying to guess which card is the right one that you want to pick out. And, yeah. It's always good when, uh, it, it always feels good when you move up. Like, like I did there. Yeah, this is a really fun minigame. And yet again, back then, I probably wouldn't have this on this, have this on the list. Because I thought it was okay and all, but uh, there's nothing special in my opinion back then. But now that I now that I uh, play it more, I actually think this is a really fun minigame. And yeah, it's 
fun trying to get the 10 points. And yes, yet again, it's another luck minigame, but this is another fun luck minigame. So yeah, that makes it fun for this. Anyway, to be honest, I don't have much else I have to say about this minigame. Moving on to number two, which is... Alright, number two is skipping class. Oh my, this is a fun minigame. It's a fast-paced minigame where you basically just push the buttons that are up there. Yet again, back then, when we like first got this game, I would probably definitely disagree with myself because I was younger, I didn't really and I didn't really know how to do this minigame. And back then I was like, oh, this minigame's annoying. But now that I play it, and I'm older and I don't know what to do, it's a lot more fun. The only problem is that this minigame feels a little bit on the short side. I wish you could go up to like... Like, ten rounds. That sounds like a good stopping spot. Instead of eight. It gets really crazy at the end, too, with all the buttons you have to push. And surprisingly, I did all of them. Normally that doesn't happen out. I, I at least miss one when I play this minigame. But, oh my, is this minigame fun! I mean, a lot of the other minigames I've been talking about, like, from Mecha Choice and on, have been fun. The other ones, they were good and all, but not as good as these ones. Anyway, let's move on to my favorite minigame. My favorite minigame is... My favorite minigame is Smash Compactor. Oh, where do I even begin with this minigame? It is so fun trying to get the right, um, I don't know what you call it, like, thingy bobber. And sometimes it's funny because sometimes there'll be a dry bone, dry bones that will randomly be at the top there. This one's a, a fun one. It's also, this one's also fun playing with, um, real life people too. Because it's fine with the computer and all, but of course, if you play on easy mode like I do, the computer's always stupid. Basically, all you want to do is find the ones that are sparkling and they open up to avoid the smash. So yeah, it's a pretty fast minigame, unfortunately. I wish it was longer, but oh well, it's a fun minigame. And definitely my favorite, even though number one and number two. Number one and skipping class were definitely really close because I like both of them a lot. But I think I would have to go, I would, I would have to say this one's better. Barely, barely, barely better though, because they're both really good. Anyway, that was the best side. Now let's move on to the worst side. Number 10 from the worst side being. All right, number 10 here we have Boomba Village. So, I'll give it this. It is an interesting concept, I guess. But here's the thing, it's really hard to keep track of which which house has the most amount of boom plays. It feels like it feels like most of the time it feels like you always lose this minigame. And that's not really fun. Of course Mario Party is for is to have fun, not about winning, but yeah. This minigame is fine and all, but Feels like always losing this minigame. And I will say the colors are pretty cool. Like I like the uh, blue, yellow, pink, red, and green houses. They look pretty interesting and cool. But let's see. Wow, I actually won in this minigame. Because it's the mini games I don't like. The mini games I don't like, then I do good in them. But the mini games I do like, I do bad in them for some reason. Anyway, anyway, getting way too off topic and sidetracked. Now we're moving on to number nine, and these are where the mini games. This one was meh and just bad, but now we're getting into the mini games that are bad. Like actually bad. This one's bad too, but not as bad as the ones that are not as bad as these next ones. Anyway, number nine is... 
number nine is hit or platter. So you want to talk about um, a good motion controls minigame, then you talk about like bumper bubbles. That was a really good motion control minigame. You want to talk about a bad minigame, a bad motion control minigame, then you have this one. Hit or platter. Ugh, this one's not fun at all. It's very hard to win in, in my opinion. I got a five somehow. I got a plus five somehow. This minigame is just dumb, and I surprisingly won again. It's because every time I... It's probably because every time I play the worst minigames I've been good in them somehow. Anyway, yeah, that minigame just ain't really that fun. It's kind of boring, and the motion controls are annoying. Well, yeah, not much else I have to say about this one. Moving on to number eight, which is... Alright, number eight is Tackle Takedown. This one, for some weird reason, came back in um, um, Mario Party Superstars. I don't know, something about it just ain't really that fun at all. It's just a really fast and boring minigame. And now and now this minigame just wants me to have like a Mario football game. Which that sounds cool, but this minigame, meh, it's just kind of boring. And slow and dry and Yeah, it's not fun because it's on the worst list, of course. So anyway, moving on to number seven. Number seven is Number seven is Plunderground. So, this is a very long and boring and dry, you know, one of the can be the same things. That, anyway, mini. Yeah, it just takes, it feels like forever I was not paying attention there, so I have no idea which one's the right one. Great, I got it wrong. Yeah, I should have been paying attention. Anyway, uh, this mini game ain't really that fun at all. Except to remember where the Monty Moles are, and yeah, oh, ooh, great. It's just boring. Wow, I actually might lose this minigame. And when it's the last round, you get, and you get the one that has a whole bunch. That one's fine, all, but it goes way too fast. Wow, I actually got the one with the most. And I surprisingly won again. Yeah, to be honest, not much else I have to say about this minigame. I talked about it while I was playing it. And now, I'm on to number six. Which, which is... Alright, number six is Block and Roll. Weirdly enough, it feels like every time I play this minigame, I have to lose. Whether I'm on the three side or the one side. Because it feels like the computers are way too smart, even if you put them on easy mode up for this minigame. Just like that. And, the, and yes, I'm telling you, these computers are hard on easy. But then when I'm on the three side, it feels like, I'm, like the computers are stupid. And they let the one person win. Yeah, this minigame ain't really that fun at all. You just have to get pretty lucky, to be honest. I actually got one. But I feel like I'm going to lose this minigame. If I win this somehow, then I'll be surprised. I am surprisingly actually doing decently well here. Basically, you just want to go without hitting anything. And that seems like it would be easy. Right? Eh, wrong. And wow, look at that. I actually surprisingly won with seven seconds left. To be honest, I feel like I got lucky there. Anyway, yeah. I've basically been saying the same things about other minigames that applied in this bad, boring, dry, and yada yada. Anyway, we're on the top five now, and these are the bad minigames. Mo moving on to number five, which is... Alright, yep. Here we go again. My brother's gonna be like, Why do you have this on the worst side? This one's a fun minigame where you have to pay attention to the tracks. 
Well, let me ask you. Here's the thing. It scrolls way too fast, so it's kind of hard to keep track of which one has the cannons. And, yeah, it's not really that fun either. It's just kind of boring. And wow, look, I actually got a cannon. Ugh. It's one of those more meh slash bad boss mini games. It feels like I have to play this one all the time for the boss mini game, which is annoying. Because I don't really like it that much. And it feels like, well, not all the time, but it feels like sometimes the, the computers or players just take the ones that you want. Look, I didn't get the best one there. Yeah, this is just a boring, not kind of slow mini-game that just slowly moves on. And then all of a sudden, now there's two danger zones that you have to watch out for. And you slowly move on in the mini-game, and it goes very slow. Yeah, in my opinion, definitely not my brother's, but in my opinion, definitely a very slow and boring mini -game. Anyway, moving on to number four, which is... Alright, number four is Speeding Bullets. Oh yeah, so also... Oops. Also, by the way, I um, tied in that last one of winning, so I actually surprised me. But anyway, this minigame is basically... Basically kind of feels like Mario Kart Wii, but done wrong. Mario Kart Wii is fun with its motion controls, but this minigame, on the other hand, no. If you get hit, you slow down really slow, which is annoying. It feels like I, ne I can never beat the record either. And look at that, that's just great. Right into that stupid prana thing. Then you move at like a snail's pace if you only have one bar. And look, at how, look at how slow I'm going. Super annoying. It feels like it just drags on, too. And the remake in Mario Party of the Top 100 is even worse because instead of rotating a Wii remote, you have to rotate the... You have to rotate the 3DS, which is even worse. Because then the screen's all shaky and it's annoying. Ugh. And also, why did this one have to come back? It's bad! Oh, my... Anyway, I'm done talking about this bad minigame. Now we're on the top three, and the three is starting with, or it's starting with three, which is, you wanna talk about, you wanna talk about an annoying Bowser Jr. minigame? That's what this one is. All the other ones are fine, and it feels like you might be able to win. This one, on the other hand, feels like I almost always lose. And it, and better, better yet in quotes, when you get close to Bowser Jr., he goes super fast, which is annoying. Just look at him, he's going super, stupidly fast. He surprisingly won. Normally I lose in that minigame, because it's stupid, in my opinion. And again, I'm still surprised, but anyway. Yeah, basically nothing else I have to say about this game, like I've been saying about the other ones. Bad, boring, dry, not fun. Anyway, moving on to number two, because I have nothing else to say. And number two is... Oh, boy. The Chain Chomp one may be kind of bad, or decently bad, but... This one, Womp Stomp, is even worse. Oh, boy. I guess the idea is fine and all, you either choose one or zero. But, yeah, this would make that fun at all. Because if you get a four and you're the one who was under him, then you're gonna get squished. It's not really a fun mini game at all. And it's just another one of those dumb luck mini games. 
which aren't fun, of course. Surprisingly, I'm doing decent here. Yeah, very dry, very bad, very boring minigame. Uh, not fun at all. And this part's a little annoying too. It's just a dumb luck mini, not a fun one. So yeah, another one that's all I have to say about this mini game. Now, let's move on to my least favorite mini game. And that is my least favorite mini game is Bum Bombard King Bob. Ugh. The only thing I have to say, the concept is fine, I guess, but here's the dumb thing. If you and a computer choose the same button, guess what? You don't get a point, because the computer was stupid. And it feels like that happens all the time with me. Surprisingly, it didn't happen there. Yet again, I'm surprised by that. Because normally a computer always runs into me. This minigame is just dumb. And when it, and when he gets really annoyed, then he then he throw then he um then he throws a bomb at you because you did that. This mini game is just dumb, in my opinion. Yup, there you go. Cooper Tree Bowl is annoying there. Uh, not much up. Nothing else to say about this mini game, to be honest. Bad, annoying. Bad, a bad, annoying minigame. So, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. And I'll see you. <coughs> sorry, sorry about that. Sorry. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. See you all next time. Bye.